are batting down the hatches again. And here's evidence of that. Anything that has a high profile, like a truck or in this case a trampoline, picked up and tossed. Dom, Grain Valley, Missouri, with this photograph. Just tweet it to me not too long ago. Invite everybody to share your pictures. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter with yours truly, KMBC. Brian Busby, KMBC. That's the handle I use on Twitter. Love to share them as well to tell the weather story because it has been windy all day today. Look at our high wind advisory for all 44 counties, staying in effect till 6 o'clock for. Another hour or so, the winds could be as high as 45 miles per hour. After that, they will die down. The other thing we had all day today, as we talked about over the weekend, a burst or two of snow cutting down visibilities. What's left of it showing up on radar now from about uh, Carroll County, farther to the east and southeast, heading toward the Lake of the Ozarks region. Wind gusts have been very strong all day and continue to be that way. 33 mile an hour gust in St. Joe, 37 here in Kansas City, and closer to that snow shield, 20 mile an hour gust in Clinton, 20. That would be 26 in Sedalia. So, every way you look at it, it is still pretty strong out there. At KCI, 31 with that northwest wind at 37 miles an hour on the gust scale. Otherwise, sustained winds in the double digits, and that knocks those wind chills down to 10 in Cameron, mm -mm, 22 in Lawrence, 24 degrees in Warrensburg. So, everybody's still relatively cold if you're heading out this evening. Future scan still painting on a few stripes of snow that will be moving through during Tuesday. Looks like most of Tuesday will be sunny but very cold. Another batch of snow comes in on Wednesday. Believe it or not, as this northwest flow continues to bring down little impulses every once in a while. Low temperatures tonight, very cold. We're talking about tonight's lows. 13 in Trenton, 17 in Kansas City, 24 Butler. And it is still going to be very, very windy for the next couple. And as you look over at Jennifer, she's got a Explanation as to why that's going to be the case. Brian, this is why it's been so windy for the past 24 hours, really, and we will be staying windy because we have this low pressure system off towards our northeast. We have a high pressure system down towards our south and west. With the counterclockwise rotation and then the clockwise rotation, you can begin to see that very windy conditions. That air is all forced down to this narrow column, and that's where they begin to pick up their speed. So those wind speeds throughout the next 24 hours, really, heading into our Tuesday evening, will be staying rather strong and with it, it's bringing in that strong northwest flow. And that's why today has been significantly colder than even yesterday. And tomorrow, we are going to be staying cold. A high temperature of 36 degrees in Springfield, Missouri. Des Moines, Iowa, 17 for a high. And here in Kansas City, Brian, we will be sitting in the lower 30s. That's true. So we start off cold in those teens, if not near 20 degrees, and try to warm up. But not much. 32 by 3 p.m. Those strong northwest winds at 20 to 30 miles an hour still outlined. A good deal of sunshine should be out there intermixed with the clouds. As we're looking at the morning drive, though, specifically 19 with the sun cloud mixture and those gusts that'll be pretty strong and continuing throughout the daytime hours. And then high temperatures looking at the entire viewing region, not very high at all. 28 in Maryville, 31 for St. Joe, 33 for Kansas City. To the northwest, you're still closer to the snowpack in Iowa, so that's why you're going to be refrigerated. The farther southeast you travel, we don't have that issue, we don't have that problem, therefore, we're trying to bounce back a little bit above freezing down of the southern portion of the viewing region. 17 to 33, windy degrees, plenty of sunshine, but those breezes up to 30, 35 miles an hour. 14 to 33, that 20% chance of a burst of snow. Thursday, 21 to 39 degrees. As we go toward Friday, back into the 40s, 24 to 43 degrees specifically, they would get knocked back into the 30s. Morning temps, 21 and 26 respectively. Another 30% chance of some more snow or rain moving through. Then as we go toward Monday, 30 in the morning, afternoon high of 45 degrees. So. Not an appreciable cold snap by any means, but with these gusty winds that we're going to have over the next day to two, it's just going to feel downright chilly. Many layers. Well, let's just get it over with now and not <laughs> okay. like in May. Yeah.